In the dark and tumultuous times of the medieval era, a small village nestled within the depths of a dense forest lived in constant fear. Rumors of witches and supernatural creatures ran rampant, weaving an atmosphere of dread. Among the villagers was a reclusive herbalist named Matthias, who possessed a secret knowledge of plants and their mystical properties. Unbeknownst to Matthias, a sinister force had taken notice of his expertise. Deep within the forest, a coven of witches brewed a potion infused with a rare strain of cannabis known for its potent and transformative properties. They sought to unleash its power upon an unwitting victim and satiate their hunger for chaos and terror. One fateful night, Matthias stumbled upon a hidden cache of plants within the forest, the air heavy with the sweet scent of cannabis. Intrigued by their presence, he carefully plucked a flowering bud and, without knowledge of the witch's intent, consumed it. As the potent effects of the cannabis coursed through Matthias's veins, an intense burning sensation engulfed his body. His skin stretched, contorting into a monstrous shape. Bones snapped and shifted, morphing him into a grotesque and ferocious creature. A wolf. In the grip of a bestial frenzy, Matthias tore through the village, his senses heightened, and his mind consumed by an insatiable bloodlust. The villagers, gripped by terror, barricaded their homes, their prayers echoing through the night. Moon after moon, Matthias transformed into a fearsome werewolf, hunting under the pale light that illuminated his monstrous existence. The village became a ghost town, its once vibrant streets abandoned as the chilling howls of the beast echoed through the night. Desperate for salvation, the villagers sought the guidance of a wise old sage known for his knowledge of ancient remedies and curses. After careful study, he revealed that the only way to break the curse was to find the witches responsible and obtain the antidote hidden the antidote hidden deep within their lair. Gathering their courage, a group of villagers ventured into the heart of the forest, guided by the moonlit path that led to the witch's hidden sanctuary. Armed with silver weapons and ancient incantations, they confronted the coven demanding the release of Metatius from his cursed fate. A battle ensued, with the villagers fighting against the malevolent witches. As the clash of steel and spells echoed through the forest, the werewolf Matthias, trapped in his monstrous form, watched helplessly, his inner turmoil echoing the chaos of the fight. Finally, the villagers emerged victorious, their silver blades piercing the hearts of the witches. With their dying breaths, the witches revealed the location of the antidote, hidden within an ornate chest, with trembling hands, the villagers retrieved the vial containing the antidote, a potent blend of rare herbs and mystic potions. They administered it to the werewolf Matthias, hoping for his redemption and return to humanity. In agonizing pain, Matthias transformed back into his human form, the curse broken, but scars of his monstrous past forever etched upon his soul. The village, now free from the terror that had plagued it, welcomed Matthias back with open arms, recognizing his plight and offering him solace. Haunted by his ordeal, Matthias devoted the rest of his life to protecting the village and its inhabitants. He became a guardian of the forest, using his knowledge of herbs to heal and protect rather than incite terror. The Tale of the Cannabis Inflicted werewolf and the valiant villagers who braved the witch's wrath became a cautionary legend passed down through generations. It stood as a reminder of the dangers that lurk within forbidden knowledge and the consequences that can arise from tampering with the mystical forces of nature.